What is up everyone? Welcome to today's reaction video, which is the first of two home free reactions coming to you this week. Later on in the week, we have the winner of our home free poll from Patreon. But today is the very special monthly request of my incredible Patreon follower, Terry. Terry, thank you so, so much for this request for more incredible home free in front of me uh, and for just being the incredible person that you are. You're always such a light every single time I get to talk to you. So thank you so, so much for being such an amazing person. Uh, I can't wait to check this one out. This is another Austin Brown original song. So uh, I'm super excited to hear what he's written. He always writes incredible love songs. And with a song called Love Me Like That, I can only assume this one is right along that path. So we're going to get into it. But as always, first, please check out the original video linked in the description below. Give it a like, give it a comment, subscribe to Home Free if you haven't already and watch it without all my pauses and interruptions because there are going to be a lot of them. And we're going to get into this. This is Home Free doing Love Me Like That. Let's go. Every now and then I find you on my phone Snapshot images of us when we were good as gold. Can I just say, can I just say, starting off this song with the ooze was one thing, okay? But the visuals, the visuals straight off the bat, a damp Austin Brown on a foggy beach. That that's more than I can handle. This 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 image right here looks like it's something out of the end of the notebook. And, you know, it's just a man a dream showing up looking all, all tussled and okay. All right, Austin, straight off the bat, you're going to come at me like that. Great. Cool. Every now and then I find you on my phone. Snapshot images of us when we were good as gold. Cayman Islands, your brown eyes. Back when nothing but the sand could come between us Thumbing through it's like I'm going back in time To those you've met since then it might look like I'm just some guy I love, I love how well Austin can write a song so the lyrics are beautiful but also how well he writes it in terms of this the, 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 the switch up that he does these first bits which are so kind of almost like he's just kind of talking very relaxed singing, nothing too strained about it. But then just before that, there was those big uh, moments that are just like these, like this power in his voice that is just so nice and so pleasing to the ear. And the fact that he can have those big moments and then dip back down and then go up again and then dip back down. And you know, this is like, we're 30 seconds in, this is going to build more than this. But at the moment already, it's just so brilliant with the writing in terms of that it started off nice and relaxed and then there was this ooh moment and now it's gone back to nice and relaxed and it's just so well done. That you posed with for those five years of forever Picture perfect proof that we were good together Yeah I like that little bit there. I don't know if that was Rob or who that was, but the will you love me in the background? It was just really nice. Together. My parents told me no one I love could love me like that, but you love me like that. That is beautiful. That is, first of all, why are your parents telling you that? That's the wrong, the wrong message for your parents to be telling you, to got to tell you. But uh, yeah, stunning, gorgeous lyrics straight off the bat. Lying to myself about you isn't moving on. Truth be told, girl, and oh, way I hope you hear this. Pull out your phone and take a trip down memory lane with me by your side, Georgia nights, you and I, one last time. 
I like that switch up there. It wasn't what it did in the first verse. It was a nice little switch up with that Georgia Knights bit that was just really smooth. Also, this song is doing what Home Free do so freaking well. Like they're 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 hella good at a cappella, and they're they're incredibly good at your classic what you expect from a cappella. These big grandiose notes, switching between singers, all that stuff. But for me, one of the things they really, really shine at compared to other a cappella groups is songs like this and songs like some of their other originals, where you sit there halfway through the song and go, oh God, that's right. This is all a cappella. Like I, you, you can easily forget listening to this song that this is all a cappella. It just sounds like a song on the radio. And the fact that Adam Rupp can pull that off with the beatboxing and that the boys with their vocalizations, and I heard like the little kind of um, almost like the mouth harmonica type, not mouth harmonica, but those kind of sounds that they add in, you know, like they have in Man of Constant Sorrow and little things like that, these little background noises that just fit so well and sound so correct for what the instruments sound like. Not to mention Tim with his bass, just not overselling it, not overdoing it, just making it sound like a song. And it's it's extremely extremely underrated thing because a lot of groups out there can do the acapella thing where you're like, Oh, they're such a good, like they're such a great acapella group. And that, that is an incredible talent on its own, but to be able to do these songs and legitimately forget as you're listening to them, that it's acapella, that is freaking talent personified. And that's one of the things that I love it when home free do it to me. And they do it so often and so well, it's incredible. Again, with those lyrics, I, that, that's the only part of this song that's shaking me. It's all beautiful lyrics. The only part of this song that's shaking me is, am I meant to be understanding this from point of view of his parents have come to him and said, like these grand romantic expectations that you have, like something out of a romance movie, no one's going to love you like that. You need to lower your expectations that way. Or are they just saying that you're not a good enough person to be loved like that? Because either way, I'm not with the parents on this one. Everyone deserves that Hollywood romance and everyone is deserving and perfect just the way they are to be loved. No one should ever tell you that no one should love you like that because you should have your expectations through the roof and you deserve to have those expectations met as long as you're willing to put in the effort and meet someone else's expectations in the same way. But yeah, that's the only, like, I, I'm probably misinterpreting it. There's probably a third interpretation in the back of my mind that I'm getting wrong. But if there is, let me know in the comments what it, what, it, what it was meant to be. Because from my side of things, if I had kids, I would never tell them that their expectations of how they should be treated in a relationship are too high. You need to push those higher. You should be treated like, if you're being treated like a queen, you should be treated like a goddess. If you're being treated like a goddess, you need to find the tier higher than that. Expect to be treated that way. Because we can never get complacent with how we treat the ones we love. And from the other side of things, if anyone's coming to you and saying that anything about you is unlovable, they're wrong and they deserve to be put in their place for that. So don't agree with that line, but at the same time, it's a beautiful sentiment because he's realizing whether, whether it's either of those two options, that she does love him that way. And that's a beautiful thing. Okay, Rob. I absolutely love, and he's going to do it again right here. I love what they've done in this song. Usually, 
Look at, look at, I'm not saying every home free song, definitely not every home free song, but a big majority of them. You look at them and towards the end of the song, you have the main person singing and you have Austin coming in with these big power notes. In this one, Austin's the main person singing. Rob is stepping up and showing that he can do them big power notes just like everyone else. And I know he does in other songs, but it's just so nice in this one. Those big notes that he's hitting, those big background moments that just fill in that space so nicely, he is destroying them in the best way. Mad points to Rob for that. Okay. I adore that film clip, first of all. That ending where they're both on the beach together, that was gorgeous. But yeah, I was not ready for just how hard our man Rob was going to go at the end there. That last note of his, it ended in like the big who type note. Gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful, beautiful song. But like I said, guys, let me know in the comments down below uh, what the kind of especially that one line that it's it's a it's a freaking gorgeous song that I love but that one line just keeps nagging at my brain about it, it hurts that he would have ever been told either of those things so if there's a third option please put me out of my misery and let me know that I've interpreted it wrong and that it's actually you know something that I'm, I'm looking at incorrectly uh but if not then I I I, I want to give Austin a big hug and tell him that yes he is he does deserve that kind of love everyone deserves that kind of love but either way Beautiful, beautiful song. Absolutely stunning. Beautifully sung. Austin absolutely killed the lead vocals. Rob doing the backup was brilliant. And like I said, the other boys just did such a flawless job of making this sound like a song. Like not a single moment of that did it feel like anything other than the exactly what you would hear on the radio, you know? So absolutely incredible. I I adored that one. That was a brilliant song going straight straight on the playlist. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. As always, please check out the original video that's linked in the description below. Give it a like, give it a comment and subscribe to Home Free. Also leave me a like and a comment. Like I said, answer my question, put me out of my misery and let me know what the situation is with that chorus. Uh, also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I've been making these Home Free, home free videos for so long. I think most of you are subscribed, but if you're finding the channel for the first time, hi, please subscribe. Um, also check me out over on Patreon where I run weekly polls for the reactions that I do. And like I said, Home Free uh, have a poll coming out later this week that's already uh, been settled over on the Patreon. Uh, I can't quite remember what the winner was, but it's another, I believe it's another amazing romance song. So I'm keen to get into that one. Uh, but yes, I do two weekly polls. I do a weekly, do two weekly TV show reactions, a monthly movie reaction, a monthly live stream. And at the highest tier, you can get a guaranteed reaction right here on the channel, just like Terry did today. So check all that out over on my Patreon. I will see you all in the next reaction video. Have a great day, night, morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time zone you're in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.